Hello friends, welcome back to this YouTube channel. In the last video, we have seen the 15 questions that came in ISRO 2017 exam for the post of architect. So this is the second video. These questions can help you in your upcoming exams such as UPSC Assistant Architect and UPSC Deputy Architect. Also these questions are generally came in gate architecture or any type of government exams for architecture and planning conducted by various states. I am Rahul and you are watching Architecture and Planning with Rahul. Till now we have covered 15 questions. So we will start with 16 question. Question number 16 is match the items statements in group 1 with those in group 2. So first is crosstalk. Crosstalk is the disturbance in one sound due to another unwanted sound. So here 3 is the definition of crosstalk. The unwanted sound transmission between different spaces via duct. Second is pure tone. Pure tones are a sound emitted at a single frequency. So first will be the Q. The third is noise that is unwanted sound hazardous to health. So this is R and transit sounds are the sounds which are audible for a limited period of time. So fourth will be S. So our answer will be option A that is P3, Q1, R2 and S4. Question number 17 is the primary difference between the model tab and the layout tab is. So this question is related to AutoCAD. In AutoCAD there are mainly two tabs. One is model tab and another is layout. So model tab is where you create your drawing and it, it is like a big infinite page. Layout tab is where you can set your page of desired size and it is mainly used to display the drawing as a sheet. From this you can print the sheet. So it's answer is option number A. Model tab is used to create drawing and layout tab is used to represent the sheet to plot or print. Our next question is which of the following refer to a model that represents all the dimension of an object internal as well as external. So the answer of this question is wireframe model. So wireframes are generally found in softwares which used for creating 3D models such as AutoCAD 3D, SketchUp, 3ds Max and Rhino. And in this wireframe model, you can see the external as well as internal lines of an object. Our next question is the orthographic projection that show more than one side of an object are called so the answer of this question is isometric projections. Let's move to the next question that is the performance of a specific task in critical path method CPM is known as. So in a critical path method uh, different tasks are known as activities. The correct answer of this question is option number B activity whereas dummy tasks are fake tasks which only used for maintain the logic of the network since this is a fake task so it does not consume any resource or time question number 21 is PERT technique of network analysis is mainly used for so PERT is deterministic in nature so the correct answer is deterministic activities our next question is which is an unethical action with respect to the architect responsibility to his client. So let's see the statements one by one advises client to forego unviable project. So this is not unethical. Second is does not offer preliminary sketches without an agreement. So it's also not an ethical. Third is undertakes construction for a fixed contract some under design build service. So it's also not an ethical. Fourth is guarantee any estimate for a cost of work. 
so this is the unethical practice as an architect guarantee any estimate or cost of work is an unethical practice you can just give the tentative estimates and cost of work next question is for earthquake resistance masonry structures the vertical distance between openings one above the another in a load bearing wall shall not be less than so friends in a earthquake resistance structure the distance between two vertical openings cannot be less than 60 cm so the correct answer of this question is option number b 60 cm or 600 mm question number 24 is as per indian standard code of practice for pre stress concrete is 1343 1980 the minimum grades of concrete to be used for post tension and pre tension structural elements are so for post tension we use m30 and for pre tension we use m40 grade of cement therefore the correct answer of this question is option number c m30 and m40 let's move to the next question Question number 25 is ambient air quality standards in respect of noise for residential area zone during day time and night time expressed in decibel leg as per noise pollution regulation control rules are let's see its options so in residential areas in day time it should not increase above 55 and in night it should not increase above 45 so the correct answer of this question is 55 and 45 here in this picture i have shown you the limit of noise in various zones for industrial in day time it is 75 and in night time it is 70 for commercial it is 65 in day time and 55 in night time residential it's 55 and in night it's 45 which is our answer and last is silence zones in silence zones it should be 50 in day time and 40 in night time so just remember all these values next question is blue baby disease in children is caused by the presence of excess dash in water so it is caused by excess nitrates in water so the correct answer is option number d our next question is bituminous materials are commonly used in highway construction because of their good so bituminous material have two three good qualities that is cementing and waterproofing then it is good binding material also it is very durable and strong here in these options option number d is very close which is binding and waterproofing properties which makes the bituminous material very good for construction of highways Next question is width of carriage way for a single lane is recommended to be so the correct answer of this is option number b 3.75 meter this is the width of a single lane and similarly for double lane without curb it is 7.0 meter and with curb the width of double lane should be 7.5 meter question number 29 is which two sentences in the following convey the same meaning so p is there should have been checking at the airport q statement is i wonder if there should have been any checking at the airport r is i want to know if there was any checking at the airport last statement is was not there any checking at the airport so here in this question statement q and r conveying the same meaning 
सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर ए आर एंड क्यू क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी इज एंटोनिम ऑफ क्वेसेंट सो फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड इट्स डेफिनेशन सो क्वेसेंट मीनिंग इनएक्टिव सो इट्स एंटोनिम इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी एक्टिव सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन From the four alternative given below, choose the one which can be substituted for the given sentence. A style in which a writer makes a display of his knowledge, and its correct answer is pedantic. Option number B. Question number thirty-two is a numerical question, so let's solve it. Question is: If running at the same constant rate. Five identical machine can produce a total of two twenty-five bottles per minute. At this rate, how many bottles could eight such machine produce in an half an hour? So, in question, it is given that five machines is producing two twenty-five bottles in one minute. So, by dividing this with number of bottles, we can find the work done by one bottle. That is forty-five. So one machine is producing forty-five bottles in one minute. Then eight machines will produce forty-five bottle each. But here time is given thirty minutes or half an hour. So by multiplying with thirty, we can get our answer. That is one zero eight double zero. therefore option number a is the correct answer question number 33 is a dining hall is 6 meter long and 4 meter wide if the sum of the floor area and ceiling area equals the sum of the area of four walls then the volume of the hall in cubic meter is first we will write what is given in the question so the hall is 6 meter long and 4 meter wide so this is the plan of hall so in next line a condition is given that the sum of floor and ceiling area is equal to the sum of area of four walls so we will first find out the sum of floor area and ceiling so length into breadth and then multiplied by 2 we will get the sum so length is 6 breadth is 4 and on solving this we will get 48 square meter so as we don't know the height of the hall then we will take it as h and now we'll calculate the area of four walls so in rectangle two two sides are common so we will write h that is area of two walls then 2 into 6 into h that is area of another two walls with dimension 6 meter and on solving this we will take 2h common multiplied by 4 plus 6 that is 20h as per the second line of the question 20h is equals to 48 square meter so value of h will be 48 divided by 20 so we will get the height that is 2.4 meter now we have height so we can easily find the volume of the hall which is simply length into breadth into height therefore 6 into 4 into 2.4 equals to and this will come as 57.6 cubic meter so our answer will be option number c 57.6 cubic meter let's move to the next question this is again a numerical question so we will solve it so 
क्वेश्चन इज हाउ मैनी ऑफ द फॉलोइंग नंबर आर डिविजिबल बाय सेवेंटी टू तो सेवेंटी टू इज अ कंपोजिट नंबर ऑफ एट इंटू नाइन सो इफ अ नंबर इज डिवाइडेड बाय बोथ एट एंड नाइन देन इट कैन बी डिवाइडेड बाय सेवेंटी टू फाइंडिंग द मल्टीपल ऑफ नाइन इज ईजी द सम ऑफ गिवन इंडिविजुअल नंबर इज नाइन और मल्टीपल ऑफ नाइन देन वी कैन ईजिली से दैट द नंबर विल बी डिविजिबल बाय नाइन फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेयर फर्स्ट नंबर इज थ्री सिक्सटी सो थ्री प्लस सिक्स प्लस जीरो बिकम्स नाइन सो दिस विल बी डिवाइडेड बाय नाइन फॉर श्योर सिमिलरली वी विल फाइंड दैट वेदर द नंबर इज डिविजिबल बाय नाइन और नॉट by simply adding this 4 plus 4 plus 7 so it will not divide 5 plus 7 is 12 then 8 is 20 so this will also not divide 6 plus 4 plus 8 that is 18 so it can be divide 1 plus 8 it will also divide this will not divide and this will divide and this can be also divided by 9 now we have just five set of numbers left so we have to just find that whether the number are divided by 8 or not so just simply divide these number by 8 so this 360 can be divided by 8 648 also divided by 8 One zero eight zero can also be divided by eight. One two nine six can also be divided by eight, and one four four zero can also be divided by eight. So there are total five numbers which can be divided by eight and nine. Therefore, these five numbers will also be divided by seventy two for sure. So our answer will be five. Now move on to the question number thirty-five. Question is: If two hundred meter long train traveling at sixty kilometer per hour takes one minute to cross the bridge, then the length of the bridge is. So, for better explanation, I am here creating a picture based on the question. Suppose this is the bridge. and our train is standing here and the length of the train is 200 meter and it is running with a speed of 60 km per hour and it takes just 1 minute to cross this bridge suppose the length of this bridge is x so after 1 minute the train will be here so distance covered by train in 1 minute will be x plus 200 meter now on applying the formula distance is equal to speed into time so here we know the distance is x plus 200 meter speed of the train is 600 kilometer per hour and the time is 1 minute so here i am just converting all the kilometer value into meter and r value into minutes so on converting we will get x plus 200 equals to 60 into multiplied by 1000 meter upon 1 hour equals to 60 minutes and 1 minute so 60 will be cancelled by 60 x plus 200 equals to 1000 then x equals to 1000 minus 200 that is 800 so this is the length of the bridge that is our answer 800 answer of this question is b 800 meter question number 36 is 
a home loan lending company claims to be lending money at simple interest but includes interest at every 6 month for calculating the principal if it is charging an interest of 12% then the effective rate of interest become so let's solve this question so let us first assume that the sum is 100 rupees then the simple interest for first 6 months equals to 100 rupees multiplied by the interest into the time that is 6 month upon 100 for percentage and 12 is the number of month in a year on calculating this we will get 6 rupees as interest now calculate the simple interest for second half of the year that is 6 month so it will be 106 rupees multiplied by 12% interest then 6 the number of months then divided by 100 multiplied by 12 which is number of months in a year so it will come as 6.36 rupees now we can easily find the interest at the end of year which is equals to 100 that is the sum amount then 6 rupees of for 6 month interest 6.36 is the later 6 month interest on calculating it we will get 112.36 rupees now effective interest is 112.36 subtracted by the 100 equals to 12.36 percent so this is our answer option number b 12.36 percent Next question is from a point x on a ground level the angle of elevation of top of the tower is 45 degree if the tower is 30 meter high the distance of point x from the foot of the tower is so let's understand this question with a diagram so this is the point x and which is in some distance of a tower and the height of the tower is 30 meter so just mark it as y z is the tower and it is also given that this angle is 45 degree this is a question of basic trigonometry so what formula of trigonometry we can use here is depend on what we have to find so in this question we have to find the distance between x and z which is also the base of this triangle so i have a trick to remember all those formulas and for this you just have to write sin cos 10 then opposite of sin is cot opposite of cos is sec and opposite of tan is cot now here in this triangle this is the hypotenuse this is the base and we are calling it perpendicular the height now the trick is pandit badri prasad हर हर बोले फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन फाइंड द मोस्ट सुटेबल फॉर्मूला 
now we don't know the hypotenuse so we will take this formula because in this perpendicular that is the height is given and we have to find the base of the triangle also the angle is given that is 45 degree so we will take cot 45 equals to base upon perpendicular so this is our formula value of cot 45 is 1 equals to base that is what we have to find upon 30 that is the height of the tower so on solving this we will get b equals to 30 meter so this exact distance will be 30 meter so our answer will be option number d 30 meter let's move to the next question that is question number 38 a fruit seller had some mangoes he sells 30 percent mangoes and still has 350 mangoes then originally he had so let's solve this so as per this question he sold 30 percent of mangoes then he still have 70 percent mangoes and this 70 percent is equals to 350 then 1 percent will be calculated by dividing 350 with 70 so this zero will cancel by this zero seven five zero thirty five so one percent is equals to five mangoes now if one percent is equals to five mangoes then hundred percent will equals to five into hundred that is five hundred mangoes so this will be our answer 500 mangoes option number C next question is a is 5 year older than B B is 10 year older than C if the total ages of a B and C are 40 then how old is B so in this question it is given that a plus B plus C equals to 40 years now assume that the age of C is C so on putting this in equation 1 we will get C plus B that is 10 year older than C so we will write this and A's age is C plus 10 that is the age of B and A is 5 year older than B so this is the age of A this is the age of B and C's age is C is equals to 40 now simplify this 10 plus 5 15 15 plus 10 25 plus 3 C equals to 40 and on calculating this we will get 3 C equals to 15 now just divide 15 by 3 so we will get 5 which is the age of C now in question they ask to find the age of B that is 10 plus C so 10 plus C's age is 5 that is 15 years so B's age is 15 years so our answer will be option number A 15 years Question number 40 is which of the following is a non-point source of water pollution? So non-point source of water pollution generally comes from oil, pet waste, pesticides and any other contaminant that ends up on the ground naturally or from human activity and it is very hard to find this non-point source whereas point source pollution is easy to identify. So, it generally comes from a single place for example sewage treatment plants or factories so option number A and option number B will not be the answer of this question 
individual households living in urban and suburban lands are very common non point source of water pollution so the correct answer of this question is option number c urban and suburban lands next question is rooftop rain water harvesting system followed in rajasthan is known as so it is known as takas or tankas question number 42 is which of the following statement is not correct with respect to smart city so let's see the statements one by one provide real time information on parking traffic congestion and public transport so this is generally a part of smart city urban region that is highly advanced in terms of overall infrastructure sustainable real estate communication and market viability so it is also a part of smart city energy efficient and will have low carbon footprint so this is the goal of smart city so the answer is none of the above because all the other options are correct with respect to the smart city next question is search tanks are generally used so search tanks are generally used in hydro power plant this is the tank and this is the search tanks it is connected to the main tank and this is the hydro power plant they are generally used to maintain the pressure it generally reduces the pressure force during the acceleration of large water masses so when large amount of water flows it act like a hammer and to reduce this effect we generally use surge tanks so the correct answer of this question is option number a to guard against water hammer let's move to the next question question number 44 is what is gentrification so gentrification is a process of urban development in which city neighborhood develops rapidly over a short period of time changing from low to high value for example if a metro is coming in an area then what it will do it will do the increment in the land price due to which the residents who are living earlier have to move out of that area because of the high prices or rise in high price because in such lands the rent and living cost increased rapidly therefore the correct answer of this question is option number c the movement of the middle class into suburban areas so this is the last question of this video question number 45 is name the first state in india which has made rooftop rainwater harvesting system compulsory for all the households across the state so tamil nadu is the state which made rooftop rainwater harvesting system compulsory for all the houses so the correct answer is option number b tamil nadu so friends that's all in this video i will try to cover rest of the question in my next video if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe also share with your friends who is pursuing or preparing for gate or government architecture exams i hope you like this video if this video was helpful just give a thumbs up it will really motivate me to create such more contents see you in the next video until then goodbye